what's up everybody welcome back to the channel i'm actually going to do a short video today i promise um so this video actually came to me while i was on my exercise bike and the instructor was listening to um the frampton tune um i want you to show me the way is that the full title somebody tell me in the comments below i, I haven't really listened to really any of peter frampton's music i'm sorry but i just never have regardless uh, we're talking about today the, I'm going to use this as my camera for the actual pedal, um, the heel uh, talk box. So this is something that I was actually exposed to via Chuck Garvey from the band Mo, so not from Peter Frampton. And I heard the song Nebraska and was like, oh, what is that? What's that instrument? And then when I saw him play it live, I was like, oh, what is that? That's called a talk box. Okay, cool. It's also used in 90s hip hop. If you listen to songs like uh, the Tupac, uh, Dr. Dre thing, California, it's all over that track. Also, by the way, that groove from California, if you didn't know this, a lot of people probably do know this by now, but that song was sampled from a Joe Cocker tune called Woman to Woman. Go listen to that track. It is ridiculously good. Anyway. I wanted to explain how this works because the instructor was like, what is that instrument? Is it like a harmonica? How do you play it? What's the thing? So I thought what I would do is explain how a talk box works because a lot of people don't know. We're going to be going through the Two Rock Bloomfield Drive and basically what is a talk box? A talk box is a driver inside this little um, casing. So got an 8-inch speaker in here. Now when we click this, it will disengage or engage the speaker cabinet from the two rock so right now the 212 speaker cabinet that i have hooked up to the two rock bloomfield is um is on but when i click this it turns on this driver so the speaker cabinet is silenced this speaker is engaged the sound travels up this tube this dirty gross tube and my dirty gross office that i need to clean and um, comes out of here. And now what happens is that sound is then picked up by this microphone. So basically, I'm gonna put this, this uh, phone down now, but um, you get the point there. But the whole point of this is just manipulating the sound of the instrument, of the amplifier, the guitar, coming through this tube, into your mouth, projecting back into the microphone, the microphone picks it up, and then goes out through the front of the house. That's it, that's all it does. Now, the fun thing about it is, well, here, let me show you. Right now, I have the uh, talk box engaged. So here, here's the amp in the room. Here is the talk box. So you can kind of hear it. When I put it in my mouth, it'll project it back into the microphone better. So the cool thing I think about the talk box that a lot of people maybe don't experiment with as much is putting other pedals into the chain. So fuzz, um, delay is really cool coming through this back into the, cause it's such a different sound. Um, it's such a different type of sound that it definitely turns heads when you're on a gig i just took this out for the first time in a long time this past sunday and it, it always gets the like same reaction people are like what the hell is that and heads spin around um I don't use it all night. I think I maybe used it twice that night and very sparingly. But even sometimes it's fun to kind of do rhythm parts. So if like I'm comping, if I put some delay on. That's kind of neat to like mess with stuff like that because 
it's a totally different texture. And even if you were just to hang out, uh, That can add a cool texture in the context of a band, right? Um, let me, uh, let's do something else. Let's put on some overdrive. Turn off the delay. This is the JHS Morning Glory. There's that thing, right? So you got to get used to it. It's kind of weird. Feels weird. Looks even weirder. I know. Um, but what I think is pretty sweet about it is all those like vowels that are super uh, expressive. The hardest part about getting used to this, if you want to speak through it, which I don't really do it that way, is you kind of have to you have to make the consonant sounds like for the California thing to hit that k a little bit into the mic. California. California. Even like the F and Fornia is it kind of helps make it more sound like this thing is talking and doing that whole vibe. But you can get so many interesting sounds with the talk box. I think it's a pretty interesting tool can be a little bit gimmicky i know that um i don't know I, I think it's a fun tool i think it's something everybody should kind of at least try once in their life as a guitar player or a keyboard player even um but what i really wanted to get past is and across is just how it works um basically what you have to do is you have to run i have speaker cables running from the talk box to the head and then that's one side connected, and then the other side is connected to the speaker cabinet. So you essentially just need two speaker, long speaker cables, because if you're talking about standing in front of the, I think these are 50 foot cables. If you're talking about standing at the front of the stage, you know, that whole um, length of that cable has to get from your like front of stage pedal board all the way back to your amplifier, and then all the way back to your cabinet too. So that's the one interesting thing about it. But it's a super fun tool. I would say, you know, if you can find one, these, these heel talk boxes, I think when I bought this in 2001, I think it was 2001, I think it was like 300 bucks. And I can remember at the time I was working at a bagel shop, you know, making minimum wage or whatever I was making. And then like my, my first whole paycheck, I just, I bought this. <laughs> so I, I remember that vividly. Cause I was like, I want to get a talk box. I'm going to save up my money from this first paycheck and then all of it's going to go to that heel talk box. So there's a bunch of other ones now. I think MXR makes one and uh, there's one called Framptone. I think that's the one that, that Chuck has. I don't know how they vary in terms of size of speaker, but I'm pretty dang sure there's an eight inch speaker inside this. I've never opened it up to look at it. That'd be interesting to do, but um, yeah, it is a, uh, it's an interesting guitar <laughs> trickery. So anyway, I don't know, guys. I just wanted to do something quick and fun and show you a little bit about how the talk box works. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'll see you next time.